Okay, here we have a quadratic equation in standard form. That means it looks like this. And so A, the coefficient of x squared, must be 3. B, the coefficient of x, must be 2. And C, the constant term, must be 1. So we can solve this equation by simply substituting these values of A, B, and C into the quadratic formula. So in that case, the solutions are going to be x equal negative b, so negative that, plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. So I'll simplify that. Negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 subtract 12, so that should be negative 8, all divided by 6. That's negative 2 plus or minus, okay, the negative sign comes out as i. 8 is 4 times 2, so the square root of 4 comes out as 2, so we have 2i square root 2, all divided by 6. And then I can simplify even further by factoring a 2 out of the numerator. 2 times negative 1 plus or minus i square root 2. And I'll factor a 2 out of the denominator. 2 times 3. Those factors divide out. And so I have two solutions. Negative 1 plus or minus i square root 2 all divided by 3. So there's my two solutions to this quadratic equation, and it's simple. It's in standard form, so I just identify a, b, and c, substitute them into the quadratic formula, and simplify. So let's go on to our next problem. Here I have x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. It has the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is 1. That's the coefficient of x squared. b is 1. That's the coefficient of x, and c is 1. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, c is equal to 1. So I'll substitute those numbers into my quadratic formula. I'll have x is negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. Simplify negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 subtract 4 times 1 times 1 is going to be 4, so 1 subtract 4 will be negative 3, all divided by 2. So I want to write this as a complex number by taking that negative sign out from under the radical. I'll put an i in front of the radical, i square root 3 over 2. So those are my two solutions, one where I use the plus sign, one where the minus sign. Now, if you want to, and you want to write this in standard form for a, for a complex number, you can say, well, this is negative 1, sorry, this is negative 1 over 2, that's that, over 2, plus or minus um, square root 3 over 2 times i. So this i times square root 3 all divided by 2, I can write that as square root 3 over 2 just times i on the outside, and then this looks like standard form for a complex number, a plus or minus b times i, if you want to. It depends on what your instructor wants, whether you do that or not. But here's the two solutions if you want, and here's the two solutions. Either way you look at it, same numbers, just different forms to them. So a look at a couple different ways to use the quadratic formula to solve some simple quadratic equations that are already in standard form.